Hey guys, welcome to Technique Tuesday. We've been talking a lot about wrist care, so we want to take a minute to show you one of our favorites that we can do to help keep your wrist healthy. So when we look at your wrist, we've got a lot of different things that connect, cross over. We've got a lot of bones, everything in there, but the two, the four main things really, we've got your two collateral ligaments, and then you've got your flexors and your extensors. That soft tissue wise is what ends up causing most of the issues that we have with our wrists. So if, when you are dealing with wrists, want to make sure that you are, if you have any wrist pain or wrist issues, that you're looking at other areas in your body as well. Start with your technique and your positioning, and then work your way down the, down the, down the stream. So go from your scapula to your shoulder to your elbows, your forearms, work your way down. If you're having issues in one spot, that will work its way down, especially if you're proximal closer to your center of your body, it's gonna work its way out, and you'll end up with issues out here on the end. So make sure that you are figuring out exactly where the issues are coming from, but when we're dealing specifically with soft tissue pain at the wrist, one of our favorite things to do, since it's a kind of a hard spot to get, is to kind of take yourself and you're gonna, by curling your wrist and making like you're flexing your forearm here, that's gonna shorten all our flexors here. And then what we're gonna do with your opposite hand is take your thumb, and you're gonna tack all that stuff down. So you're gonna tack those flexors down and then you're gonna push your hand back while you're keeping those tacked down the whole time. So you're getting in there and just kind of manually stretching all that stuff. So you're gonna tack it down, push and you can work our way across we can even get out here on the RCL get in on the UCL a little bit work our way across and then we can even work our way down the forearm so we can do this if you find a tender spot you can work your way all the way down your forearm getting in there then we'll flip it over get the extensors too so on this back side we'll just take our hand tack all that stuff on the back side down push forward so pull back so it's shortened tack it down push it forward same thing here work your way across work your way down Love doing this before I train or anytime that I'm feeling anything funky in my wrist. It makes a big difference. Get some blood flowing in there, loosening up all that soft tissue around, uh, around the joint there. So try it out next time you're training or next time you're spending too much time at your computer or anything like that. Loosen those wrists up. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching.